What's up you guys? It's your girl Bree and I am back once again with another video. So today's video is going to be me showing you what I do for my biomedical technology class. So this is the first one. I don't have really any in right in but it's like that, that, and that, that I just did today. And then these are like all this, um, the famous, or just some of the famous biological scientists. And their discoveries. So, shout out to all the people. And shout out to my drawing. <laughs> so, this is like a program thing that we have. I'm not going to show you the teacher's name. Whatever. But this is like basically what we have to. Like there's uh, so it's like different stuff. So like what is applied to research and all that. So basically, I exit it, and it's like all of these program things. So there's only seven in this one because I'm already done with the first one, which is um, what is science? how to be a scientist and I already submitted that one so now I'm on biomedical biomedical Hold on. I'm trying to do it without showing the people biomedical research so yeah guys that's what I'm doing so now I'm about to do yeah, basically I'm about to just do this and y'all can sit here and watch me. I'm about to do Oh y'all wanna watch this video? I know y'all wanna watch this video. Okay. The circulatory system consisting of the heart, arteries, capillaries, and I already watched this. Is the video. pumping mechanism that transports blood throughout the body. I'm like a big In the heart, the left ventricle contracts, pushing red blood cells into the aorta, the body's largest artery. From here, blood moves through a series of increasingly smaller arteries until it reaches a capillary, the junction between arteries and veins. Here, oxygen molecules detach from the red blood cells and slip across the capillary wall into body tissue. Now deoxygenated, blood begins its return to the I heart. Think so it cool. passes through increasingly larger veins to eventually reach the right atrium. It enters the right ventricle, which pumps it through the pulmonary arteries into the lungs to pick up more oxygen. Oxygenated, blood re-enters the left atrium, moves into the left ventricle, and the blood's journey begins again. Okay, so that's basically all of everything that I learned. Hold on, let me zoom it out. This is the Chromebook that my parents bought me for Christmas. So I could do like my homework and stuff on it. So this is like just strictly homework in YouTube. I did watch like a little bit of Netflix on there, but it's mainly for homework. So, yeah guys, I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see anything else that has to do with my school. Or anything else that has to do with me. Um, I will be updating. I know the giveaway is about to end. And this is a website that I do it on. Random Picker Generator. Okay, so I enter all the names right here, and then I just click pick a random name right there, and then whoever is that random person, I will be vlogging, so it will be fair. So, yeah. I might pick the giveaway winner right now, so, let me, while I'm still recording, let me get you 
up with my all the news in there and then I will you will see in the next video which name 